Hello and welcome to another Mad Hatter review. Okay, uh, beardless Mad Hatter review is too hot, guys. Just way too hot. California heat with the beard. Just uh, uh, milk was a bad choice. Let's just say that. Uh, but that's not what we're here to talk about. We're talking about the new NECA announcement. NECA official hashtag Monster Mayhem packaging reveal. Happy hashtag Turtle Tuesday. And we got some goodies, okay? We got some reveals, okay? Uh, number one, uh, you get the uh, packaging right here from Michelangelo as the mummy, okay? You got his face up there with the... Uh, with 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 the, with the teeth and the one eye open, and then you get the uh, the the back of the box here uh, through ancient dust and pizza crust lurks Michelangelo as the mummy. Okay, beware the curse of Cowabunga. Love that. All that's really cool. But that's not the only reveal that they got today. They also have revealed the fourth turtle, Donatello as the Invisible Man. Okay, so. A lot of talk back, a lot of like, you know, uh, some people thought Donatello would be Dracula because of, you know, uh, the, the, the other figure. Um, I always thought, okay, not to kind of toot my own horn here, but, you know, on the, on the, on the little um, blurbs, they did mention that the, the Foot Clan are vampires. So I was like, it doesn't make sense that uh, 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 Donatello would be the leader of the vampires. I think it's still going to be Shredder as Dracula, but... Uh, Donatello confirmed as the Invisible Man. I like it. I'm for it. Number one, you know, if, if anybody's going to be sort of like a chemist, it's going to be Donatello, right? Uh, number two, uh, I love the goggles. You know, Donatello represented a lot in the TMNT mythos, uh, uh, wearing goggles. And, and uh, so I think this is a cool fit. And I can't wait to see this figure. Uh, this one, I, I love the Invisible Man. I, I love this movie. And this one might be... Uh, my favorite. So uh, we'll see. Uh, very eagerly awaiting uh, uh, pics of the of the reveal, and um, it's also interesting that he has hairs. He's got little hairs popping through the bandage uh, uh, bandages. What's up with that? I don't know, but uh, I will let you guys know uh, when I when I know more. Um, also, I did want to uh, uh, mention um, I got cat sifting. Yes, yes. He hasn't been sifting all day. I think he was just waiting for this moment. But uh, I did want to mention, so I got uh, my uh, uh, underground arsenal party van. I don't know if you saw that video. I'll put a link in the description. You should check it out. It's a great van. And, um, you know, I thought, I was like, this van is awesome. But then, but then I was on my favorite TMNT Facebook forum, uh, uh, the TMNT Party Wagon Facebook group. Okay, join that forum. That's where I get a lot of my info. If you have not joined, joined. Tell them the Mad Hatter sent you. They give you the special, the special booth, okay? And um, on that forum, uh, I, I I did notice that um, one of the uh, admins there, great guy, Mr. Oscar Cano, Cano, Cano. I hope I'm saying your name right, buddy. Uh, had posted his own uh, 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 repainted TMNT party wagon, okay? TMNT turtle van party wagon, whatever. But uh, he had done some touch-ups to it. And I saw this thing, I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. This kind of, th that little, th that black outlining and the gray on the uh, headlights, th those flourishes made it just stand out to me. So I was like, dude, wh what do I need to do to get something like this? And he said, I'm local, dude. And I said, we gotta, we gotta link up. We gotta get together. Is there a way to make it happen? Uh, and he did. Okay. I, I, I owe this guy. I mean, I owe this guy everything, okay? We're in the trenches now, okay? It's like, you know, this is like a life debt now because he did uh, uh, repaint my van and uh, I did want to show it. So I'm going to take this thing off of, the, uh, off of the stand right here and I'm going to go ahead and show you what he did. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'll make this quick, uh, guys. So we're not just going to do a whole review. I got my Raphael right here just standing next to it. But yeah, if you take a look, uh, pretty much this black outlining right here is what just kind of made this whole thing pop for me. Look, everybody is going to, uh, uh, you know, love their version of the van and, uh, um, you know, maybe keep it as is or do what they want with it. But um, I just really, really love uh, just the black outlining just gives it that kind of cartoony feel. And the thing is, it still fits for me. Even though it's uh, a little cartoony, it still fits uh, with the video game stuff for me. So I'm, I'm just over the moon about this. Um, he did some gray painting right here on the, uh, 
uh, surrounding the headlights, which I like, kind of made them pop. The teeth, you got some uh, some uh, uh, teeth outlining in there, which I really like. And again, it just has that that fit with just the kind of like, you know, um, uh, black outlining that they put on the uh, on the uh, uh, cartoon figure. So I don't know, it just made it really pop and it popped in the photos and it pops in real life for sure. So I'm just really happy about this. I mean, he did it here at the guns, he gave it just a little outlining right there. So that's really cool around the satellite right here. Uh, I love that. I did notice that my shit uh, came from the Underground Arsenal kind of dinged here, but I almost like that. These are from Underground Arsenal, by the way. Um, but I don't know. I, I didn't make a fuss about it because I, I, I might want to weather this thing at some point, too. Um, but uh, here's just the back of it uh, with, the, uh, with the black outlining as well. So, um, again, just to food for thought, okay? Just show you what, 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 a, what a, uh, an outlined uh, turtle van can look like and... Uh, I don't know if it uh, uh, makes this a more desirable for you guys or if you guys say, yeah, you know what, I'm still going to pass. I'm still going to get some of the other vans. But uh, when I saw it, I was like, I really, really wanted this done. And again, Oscar, you are a gentleman, man. Thank you so much for doing that. And uh, uh, again, follow the TMNT party wagon. Uh, uh, you know, you meet some some dope people. And guess what? You might meet me. OK, so join us. Join us uh, over there. It's always a party. There's a lot of good Facebook groups, um, but that one I, I, I feel like I, uh, I go, to, uh, go to the most. So that's it. Uh, Turtle Monster Mayhem Reveals, Donatello, Invisible Man coming, uh, Turtle Van Customizable. Oh, by the way, what did he use? He used this... Uh, um, my cat just fucking freaked out. Um, this right here. This is a... It's like a paint uh, a pen. Uh, which is interesting. And he kind of showed me how to touch it up too. So I think I, I, I'm going to do it as well. I'm going to play around with it, maybe on something else first. But uh, this is all he used. Um, not, not for the outline. I think uh, something else for the, for the headlights. But this uh, just a black, black paint pen. Uh, so uh, FYI, if, you're, if you, if you want to know. Uh, so that's it. That's all I got for Turtle Tuesday. Monster Mayhem. Uh, Michelangelo. Packaging. Donatello. Invisible Man. Painted up turtle van for me. I'm going to take this thing for a spin. And uh, that's it. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.